Good day, Biscuits. My name is Moonbook, and this is Saints Row Get Out of Hell. I haven't really played a Saints Row game before, so this will be an interesting experience. Yeah, anyway, let's burn this up. Also, I am doing a giveaway today until Friday, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be Friday. Basically, I'm gonna give away another copy of this game, so just be subscribed and comment down below on this video, and I will announce the winner on Friday's episode video thing. I haven't played a Saints Row game, like I said, so I'll shut up now so we can watch this. There lived a man so exceptional that the divine hosts of heaven and hell were forced to take note. A man dangerous enough to bring Satan to his knees, but selfless enough to make God himself raise an eyebrow. How did this come to pass? Well, it all began at a very special birthday party for a very special young lady. Surprise! What is all this? It's your birthday, Kenzie. So? You've never been to a birthday party? No. Oh, like not even growing up? I went to the school of the Americas since kindergarten. We didn't really do birthday parties. But you celebrated Christmas? I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, Kenzie, this is going to be so much fun. Zinjai made a cake, Jane Austen is here, we'll play some games. What sort of games? Tradition! Every slumber party has to involve a spirit board. Slumber party? How's it work? We ask it a question, and the spirit of the board will reveal the answer. How? Yeah, someone pushes the pointy thing to wherever they want. Wait, wait, wait. Can we go back to you and your slumber parties? No time. All right. Everyone put their hands on the cursor. Cursor? I feel the magic already. All right. Will the president slash god emperor for life ever choose a partner to reign alongside them? <laughs> no. Ooh, someone's getting married. Shut up, Matt. Who will tame the president's wild heart? <laughs> What are you guys trying to spell? I'm not moving it. That's the spirit, Kinsey. I'm serious. I'm not moving it either. Neither am I. Jezebel? Who the fuck is... Is that not normal? Where'd you get the board? I was going through Zinyak's artifact collection and found it there. Who did it belong to? Alistair Crowley? Um, guys? I think it's laughing at us. Fuck this. I think you're a smart enough piece of wood to see where this is going. Are you ready to cooperate? That's more like it. You think we can trust it? It's not like we got a lot of options. So what's the plan? We mount up and go in after the boss? No, I do. No sense in what's left of humanity walking right into a death trap. Someone's gotta live to tell a story. That's a stupid plan, Johnny. I'm leaving you in charge. Hell of a plan, Johnny. Are you serious? I'm coming too. Are you kidding me? How do you plan to come back? I'm gonna try not to sweat the details. You need someone with you that does. No. It's my birthday. Fine. All right, then. You know where my friend is? Due to its word, the spirit board opened up another portal and sent Johnny and Kinsey screaming into hell. Alright, so like I said, I haven't really played a Saints Row game before, so this will be interesting. I actually have Game of the Year edition for number four, and I actually was going to record uh, episodes for it this week, but this game came out and I was like, hey, I can do a giveaway of this and play this all at the same time, so might as well. So I'm in hell apparently. It's pleasant. It's not as bad as I thought it would look. Besides the lava, hot, hot, hot lava, and the uh, random lightning storms. Oh, and I already had a, have a gun. This is already a thousand times better than what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Let's see, it said sprint was this? Okay. Steal a car, it says. What? Oh, there's a car. Pow, pow. Pow. It's ineffective. Can I? Okay. Oh, is that a car? I think it is. I'm trying to figure out how to jump down. Okay. Hijack vehicle, why? I guess that's inoperable. Oh, never mind. Apparently, this is operable. I didn't think it would be. Uh, I don't know where I'm going, but I will be a good pedestrian and drive on the right side of the road. Oh, access map. Here we go. To the map. I guess this is where I go. I think I'm going the right way. Indeed I am. Whoop, sorry buddy. <laughs> Down this pathway I go. Running over anyone I dare see unfit. <laughs> ah, pow. He was unclean. Let's see. New Hades. The Infernal City. Okay. Hi-ho. Hi-ho. It's off the hill we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway. Whoa. Well, I want that. Give me that. No, no. Okay, also... Come here! Come on! Come on! You already flat my car! Pow! Pow! There we go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about! Hey! They sell tacos in hell! It ain't hell if they sell tacos! What is this? Look, th another billboard for tacos! They sure do love them tacos in hell! Let's run over these friggin' dirtbag! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm still in my car! I'm still safe! Kind of, maybe, I, I don't know. I think I'm stuck. No, wait! There we go! Kinda making it! Not, not into the lava! Just don't go into the lava! Okay! Zoom, I preferably not to- oh, God, take it. I can't even make it through here, this is junk. You disgraceful. Okay, anyway. I guess I'll just sprint to where I'm supposed to go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. 
Is there a way up? Please tell me there's a way up. Is there, I might as well just jump into the lava that's right there. Sir, oh my god, okay, yeah, I'm jumping into the lava. Kcha, uh, not what I meant to do. Alright then. Kachow. Oh, apparently I'm skydiving, and apparently lava is freaking solid. Hot, hot indeed. No, I will not warp to shore. Maybe I should, but I want to. I want to start me at the beginning. <laughs> All right then. Get, do I start anywhere near where I'm supposed to go? According to the map, it put me right where I need to go. So if I ever get stuck somewhere, or if I just need to go somewhere quickly, just die. Makes sense. Another cutscene. Let's watch. Welcome to hell. Is that Satan? Of eternal damnation. I have a feeling you didn't come here to catch up. Let's talk in my office. Who is he? What? What? Is he in past games? Where'd you put the president? I've been trying to explain that. I didn't take them. Bullshit. Shoot him in the face. Actually, you just happen to be the first thing we see in hell. Maybe it's just me, but your thank you sounds more like an accusation. That's probably because he plans to kill you. She seems really casual about it. I get the trust issues. Can I show and you We're in hell with the businessman and stuff. These all came together. They did? The president had caused more chaos and destruction than any other in human history. It was only natural that Satan would want them to marry his daughter. They needed a plan, and Johnny had one. I'm gonna shoot the devil in the face. My man! No, I said in the face. Yeah, yeah. that's how I roll. I get close enough to him in the first place. When's the wedding? I'll just show up and then you'll shoot him in the face. Yes. Sorry, but it's a little more complicated than that. These things are tied to the soul. You won't be able to enter without one. But the bullet can. No one said the bullet can't enter the building. Shoot him in the face. You'll get your shot. Wait, why would Satan give out an invitation for destroying his stuff? Oh, he won't, but it should piss him off enough to get him to attack Johnny personally. Either the devil kills Gat and Ultor gets the construction contracts to rebuild what was destroyed, or Johnny kills Satan and I'll have to pay less taxes. Pretty win-win. That's why you're helping us? To make more money in hell? Hell's what you make of it, sweetie. Works for me. What you got? All right. Satan had entrusted the day-to-day -day running of hell to five archdukes, and they knew how to find them all. But beyond that, not everyone in Hell was content to go along with Satan's status quo. There were others who shared Dane's ambition for power, and the Ultor mogul knew that the key to unseating Satan... I recognize Blackbeard. Not the other guys, though. Johnny set out to wage war against the Prince of Darkness. Dane had one final gift, an artifact that he had spent fortunes on. Lucifer's Cracked Halo. This holy relic granted Johnny the majestic wings of the Morning Star. However, he still needed help in learning how to use them. So wait, I have wings? I can fly? Please tell me yes. Please, please, so I don't have to keep jumping into lava pits to reset. Collect soul clusters, alright. Let me sprint, I guess. There's three. Thought there'd be five since, you know, pentagrams right there. Access arcane menu, will do, buddy. I got super sprint. Yay. And I got flight. You can now launch into the air, perfect for gaining the altitude you need to engage the flight. Hold A to charge your jump so leap higher and farther. Okay. Return to the arcane menu. Sure, we'll do. Probably, probably not. All right. Way to show off there, buddy. You can glow. Oh, 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 okay. So I can hold it down to go farther. Indeed I can. Tap A to wall jump. Hold A for a charge wall jump. Jump off walls or quickly release the top. We'll do. Okay. Kind of reminds me of Crackdown, to be honest. Let's see. Hold LB to fly. We'll do. Doop do. Oh, it's inverted controls. Okay, go on to. Well, why my guy stop flying? I mean, he is now, but. I don't think I need to dive. I'm just gonna drop down once I'm over it. Doop do. And now I will dive. Okay. It's kinda like Batman in a way. A more clunky version of Batman, it seems. I don't know how to flap. He just said I could flap. Well, flap your wings, gain momentum in your current direction. Tap A once while flying to flap. Your, your wings, only one flap is possible per flight. Ah. Okay then. And ciao. Flappy flappy. The exact opposite of diving is climbing reduces momentum. Use a left stick to climb while flying. Okay. Ciao. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. There we go. See her to the final island. Will do, I guess. Flappy fl Oh, no, no, no. Flappy flappy. Ah, I can't flap anymore. And ciao. Is that it? Am I done? Can I go explore and do whatever the hell I want? Here's the deal. If 
you want some face time with Satan, you need to get his attention. Now, Satan hates being challenged, so anything you do to undermine his control is good. Fraud, mayhem, shooting demons in the face. Shoot him in the face! You can keep track of Satan's wrath with this handy meter. Get it high enough, and you'll be having drinks with Big Red in no time. I've compiled a list of shit to do, so take a look and do whatever sounds fun. Oh, one more thing. We have some potential allies down here. Trust me, you want to impress them. Okay, so out of all of that, what I learned was shoot demons in the face. Yada yada yada, shoot demons in the face. Alright, oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I guess, oh, casino gambling. You know where I'm headed, boyo. Anyway, I guess this is it for episode one. There's a lot of cutscenes, I didn't get to talk as much, but I will be doing a lot more stuff in episode two. Bye, everybody. Bomb Survival 2015, Santa Claus got, no, 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 ho, ho, right up my ass, apparently it's going. Perfect.